Hi Taurus, welcome back in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot and these are your current energies in love. Let's see what's happening with Taurus and what messages we have. Taurus, Moon Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. Messages for Taurus. We have the whip, okay? someone trying to influence you or your person this is third party influence right and we also have the story so it's safe it's balanced but the influence is going to be very 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 strong okay taurus moon rising Venus, jupiter and sun you're ready taurus you're ready to deal with this outside influence i see you coming out in a very strong manner, I see the balance being restored also. Look for a sign. So, uh, yes, there's going to be some influence from outside, some force, but I think you're ready to deal with it. All you need to do is look for some guidance or a sign from the universe. Okay, Taurus, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. We'll go by your energy, their energy, outcome, and then we will clarify, right? We have the Ace of Pentacles for you. Temperance for the person you're dealing with can be a Sagittarius. And the King of Pentacles, here you are. So exactly, you are the one supporting the connection right now. It's like strong support, strong um, balance coming do the connection from your side. I see this person has recently been through some confusion or some kind of uh, juggling in their life and uh, some kind of, uh, I see imbalanced situation for some of you, right? So can be a Sagittarius here, but I see this person is trying to gain back the balance in their life. And you are going to be very supportive here. I see that you are trying to offer some kind of stability to this person. You want to communicate to them. For some of you, this also can be that you want to communicate to somebody regarding some kind of reconciliation or uh, patching up of things. I'm also picking up sorting up of things or for some of you, this is like making peace with somebody, right? Because you are coming out to be as the ground here. Very stable energy. This can be somebody from your past or uh, maybe a past life soulmate okay maybe in past you shared a connection with this person i'm strongly picking up third party energy so this can be a third person also for some of you let's clarify a few cards and see what's happening here i see ace of pentacles for you so let's clarify what is this ace of pentacles energy we have the page of cups the knight of cups and the star you're very hopeful about the situation. Again, you're ready energy with the star. Very positive, hopeful energy. You want to have some conversation with this person. I see a strong compassion in your energies towards this person, Taurus. In past, I think something happened. We have some uh, toxic energy in past with the devil energy. But I strongly pick up that uh, you want to make things right here. You want to make peace with somebody. Strong energy of making peace with somebody. Having a compassionate conversation. And you're quite hopeful that the situation is going to work out. What about this person? We have the Eight of Swords in reversed. Okay. They are no more confused. Four of Wands and King of Cups. Alright. So for some of you, this can be a third person. Not the one you're into relationship but this person is already dating someone. They have the relationship with King of Cups, can be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're already committed to somebody or they already have a relationship here. And uh, in past, I'm picking up that they were too much confused about your situation and they're still healing from it. But uh, I think they're moving on and getting into a connection with somebody else. For some of you, I'm also picking up Taurus that you were not able to commit to this person for some reason i think this is a past person right or a third party and now at this moment you feel compassionate for them i don't see any proposal of relationship though but i see that you want to make things right with them you want to offer some compassionate 
Message to somebody. Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, okay? And we have the Nine of Cups, amazing. So whatever information you want to deliver to this person, or whatever uh, situation I think you're sharing with this person, that's going to be in your favor. If you're thinking about uh, making an apology to somebody, or this might not be exactly an apology, this simply can be a message of compassion, right? Asking somebody, how you're doing and uh, how things are going now. The positive side of uh, some past person, sharing a positive relationship with some past person or making peace with the past, that kind of energy. So I think that is going to go quite well. We have the lover's energy here. So for a moment, I'm picking up that passion, those memories, those moments might get ignited. The moment when you both talk to each other, that passion, that love of past, I see soulmate energy here might get ignited but yes you will deal with it in a very very strong manner strength with the justice i think you're doing this because you want to restore justice i strongly pick up that in past when you were dealing with the situation you had a different outlook you had a different personality can be years ago months ago you were a totally different person and you had a different equation with this person and at that time it didn't go well but right now from your energies, I feel that you, you are grown, you're more compassionate, you're more spiritual also I'm picking up. And now you know what's right and wrong. You're ready, that kind of energy. And universe is telling you, look for a sign. The moment you feel it's right to make this amend, I'm picking up that you're trying to make amends with somebody. I think it's going to happen very nicely, though I still feel this person is going to be a bit angry. Some sort of uh, anger or first reaction you know that jerk reaction suddenly when you text them or when you communicate to them that this is my situation and this is my outlook towards the situation that happened in past right now they might get a knee jerk reaction and suddenly shocked by your message but uh, yeah eight of pentacles they are busy somewhere else now i see that this person is building something else in their life and yes we have the world card and the page of swords so the past situation is over for them i think they are healing and they were really heartbroken when things didn't work out with you but now they're healing they're working on some other relationship in their life so maybe this can be a good happy moment where they're also happy to see your stand about the situation that happened in the past i see ace of wands so yes that fire that passion will get ignited for a while but then beautiful energy of making peace. I'm strongly picking up King of Cups and Queen of Cups. They already have someone now and you're very happy and compassionate towards them, right? It's, it's a very beautiful energy I'm picking up. Beautiful energy, what else? We have the Hanged Man, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So the World Card is here. So some last conversation might happen. I see Water Sign, I see Fire Sign, Air Sign. All signs are on the table and earth sign energy your energy is also there so um, I definitely see that some situation is stuck from from past so long right and uh, this is the last final chord that has to be released before you you know enjoy these beautiful spiritual changes that are happening within you I see you almost ready and uh, I see that you're coming to a point where you're almost re about to release this past cord. You both have healed and, you know, almost healed, I should say. And you're in the process. They are in the process of building something else. You are in the process of growth, spiritual healing and growth I'm picking up. So in the beginning, the person might show some um, resistance in their energies. I see some anger still left. It's not completely over. But they're too busy into their stuff that they might simply not be that vocal about the situation right i see queen of swords and queen of wands so i see fire sign and air sign we also have the world here page of swords again page of pentacles ten of swords yes i see some last conversation happening and that will of course going to be a happy conversation right some last chords being released so overall it's a very positive energy I strongly pick up Sagittarius energy, Leo energy, and Aries energy as well. 
but I think that final card is going to be released with the Queen of Swords energy. This can be your energy or somebody else in your environment who is an air sign. But I think uh, <clears throat> in the beginning, it might start with a rash conversation for a while, that knee-jerk reaction, that uh, I don't want to talk about it. Why are you coming back? Why are you are coming here? And you know, that kind of reaction. But very soon, the moment this person will realize that you're here to make the amends, they will tell you that I've moved on, I'm working on something else, I'm working on some other relationship and it will be like a passionate moment for you for a while but then it is going to be a beautiful victory kind of situation, right? Happily ever after kind of situation. So a beautiful peace being made with somebody from the past I'm picking up in this time period which is a very very positive energy and nine of cups at the end You'll be happy after doing this or you'll be happy after taking this tent in your life. So you're ready. Just look for a sign and make the move. Very positive energy. So these are your current energies. Enough. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.